two and a half years ago when I first transferred in. Uh, we had fall camp, um, going to that COVID season, a little weird time. Got landed on, tore my ACL. My MCL. And meniscus ruptured all three. I went up to hit a ball. I landed and I like tore everything. And then I was just laying on the floor and just holding my knee. I ended up doing it the second time, ACL and the MCL. I've torn my ACL before. I've torn my um, torn my right one in high school. Very low point at that po uh, at that point, just because you just came off of uh, the first one. Now you're coming off the second one. I was just so like shocked and was just like I couldn't say anything. I felt like kind of like an out of body experience. Like everything was happening, but like my mind hadn't like quite caught up. It was just as much mentally as, as it physically, to be honest. Uh, you gotta, gotta figure out who you're gonna be, like what type of player you're gonna be when you come back. This injury like really did a number on me. Like I was scared. I was scared to practice. I was scared to run. I was scared to jump, like all of it. You gotta trust it, you gotta believe in yourself again. You gotta figure yourself out again. Trying to get back into that mindset and just adjust into a different athlete, a different mindset. It's been really difficult. Once I can get my mental, my confidence, and my, like, stop being quite so afraid, like, it'll line up with my physical, and then I'll be good to go. I'm trying to get better every day, create a small milestone, because it's a big goal that you're trying to get back to. And, you know, but you just, it's life. I mean, you get knocked down, you gotta get back up. Around the time, like, I lost my aunt, I lost my grandma, like I lost a bunch of people. It was just like a really, really difficult time for me. I really had to like lean on like my family a bunch and they helped remind me that like, no matter the speed, it, I had to like be proud of myself. Support system from the coaches, still believing in me, be able to come back. Um, obviously my parents, my family, my obviously I had my twin here last, uh, last two seasons, so. Have him here and like motivation, seeing him doing good on the field. Uh, I had a lot of people in my corner, so just all my friends, family, coaches, staff, SIU, just everybody just like, got me through it really, you know. I feel like I bring more than my like performance and my physicality. I think I'm pretty funny and like, so no matter, like even though I tore my ACL, I didn't tear my mouth. My mouth was working. So if I had something to say, I was gonna say it. If there's any way I could say something funny, make the mood light, I was gonna say it. With my energy and just being there and just, just helping guys out, especially in the receiver room, just like saying how, like telling what I see and like what they could do, like being a voice. But yeah, just I'll say a lot of energy and just being there for the guys. If it was sitting there doing the score, I took the score. If it was line judging, I'll line judge. If it was shagging when I was able to walk, I was gonna shag. So just doing what I could, trying to be positive and still like, be a part of the team as much as I could. It helped me, I will say, become a like a more sociable person. I will say more interactive, like I can interact with different people. So just athletes the whole entire time, I was able to interact with people more through SIU. Like last year was probably one of the hardest years of my life because of how much my identity tied into volleyball. If I can be like positive and confident in who I am outside of volleyball and add in being positive and confident and who I am inside of volleyball, I feel like I like that's like my dream, and that's like perfect. Just dig deep, really. I mean, is uh, you go as far as your mind can, uh, lets you. So just keep being you, and then just it's all up to God at that point. So really take those that time off to yourself and like think about things because you have the opportunity, and I think everybody has the opportunity, and they need to use it however they see fit.